This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Welcome right back here with another episode of Fable 2. In the last episode, we went through the hero's tomb and fought some giant beetles, read some lore, and got some neat treasure with uh, armor I probably won't use for the after a certain point because I want to at least play it as if like I was playing the regular game and not like some special edition that had extra content. So yeah, for now I'll use the the sword or the sword and the armor, but it won't be a permanent thing because. You know, I want to try out all the other armors, and I want to play this game with more of a cosmetic look to it, so... But, I'll wear it for now. Um, and it's not like it's the best armor and weapons in the game. I can show you really quick. Like, if you look at weapons, it does very less damage than the mace. Um, although, to be fair, the mace is slow, while the house sword is fast and cutting. I mean, the idea of this weapon is basically it's supposed to help you get through the beginning part of the game... Um, until you can get better armor. It even shows it's a one star. So it's not like the best weapon ever. You know, it's not like one of those things. That would be kind of cheap if I could just get the best of at the very beginning of the game. Same with the armor. I think the armor is just uh, regular too. Oh, well, that's got a... F uh, I mean, it's a four. Okay, so, I mean, technically, it, the armor is not too bad. But it improves my attractiveness. And if I wore the chicken head suit, it'd give me plus 20% ridiculousnesses. This, 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 this. Is that the same on all of them? It's attractive. Yes, I'm quite attractive in Hal's body. Who wouldn't let a love a, a suit of armor like that? But anyway, let's go head towards Bowerstone and meet Teresa. Apparently she's going to meet us there. I don't know why the little arrow things are telling me to go this way, but okay. Um, I'll do a little bit more exploration after the game officially says, Hey, let's go. You've got missions, but you can run around. Actually, where's my, where'd my dog go? Right around here. He's supposed to be following me. I wonder if he got glitched. Well, that's fine. I don't. I think there. Were, I don't remember there being any major dig spots around here anyway, so that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, too bad it's nighttime, so we have to deal with all the, the darkness and everything like that. At least for now, until we can find um, resting spots and stuff like that. Because as far as I know, you can. If I remember correctly, you can't just sleep in the middle of the road. You have to find a bed or something like that. So. Yeah. It's kind of neat just walking around as a as a Hal's or a Master Chief's outfit from Halo, but oh, Bowerstone Road. What, what the? You're blocking my way. Get out of my way. I'm a hero. Apologies, citizen. The road to Bowerstone is closed due to the bandit activity. I'm afraid that as long as the bandit thag is alive, the road stays closed. If you're in an hurry, like. You can always take care of Thag yourself. Yeah, you know what they say: the good, the good Lord uh, only helps those who help themselves. So, so all right. the road to Bowerstone is closed. It would seem Thag has been capturing traders on their way to the Bower Lake camp. He is a danger to all; and must be dealt with. With your new power, you should be able to defeat him and his gang, and continue your quest. No doubt they are at his camp near Bower Lake. Oh, there you are, dog. Jeez. But yeah, if we, because <laughs> the guards don't want to take the, a few minutes to take care of this themselves, you know, we'll have to do it. All they can do is just, you know, protect the roadway from other adventures from coming in. So, and let's use the power of magic and will and whatever and whatnot to defeat these bandits, some bandit scum. I don't think it has to be dark here when you play this. I think I just got unlucky that the that the game uh, has it set at night here because I keep your wits about you. It may be a trap. It does seem like a trap, yes. Let's, uh, destroy some of uh... Although it is, I mean, Hal's sword is pretty cool, so I don't know, maybe it'd be best to just leave it on for a while. Like I said, it's not the best weapon in the game, so I could use it for now, although I'll probably end up using mainly my magic and skill-based stuff anyway, but still. There's the prisoners. Look out! It's an ambush! Oh no. Bandits. Hey, rebel scum. I mean, bandit scum. You have to point forward if you don't. Oh, that's cool. Nice to that. Keep your head down. Oh, right. I didn't buy the, the ability. You want to fight? You want to fight me in my fury of fireballs? Uh, ranged attacks, even though melee is a lot more effective here. 
because that's the first stone. So. Throwing fireballs at them the whole time, you know. I think it's supposed to be you're supposed to be using the ranged ability or whatever. No one defies Thag the impatient. I'll gut you myself. I'll give you three seconds to get ready. No way, two. Oh, sorry. Hey, you kicked my dog, you dick. I'm gonna teach you a lesson, asshole. Oh yeah, the game will tell you at certain points if you can afford certain abilities, if you have enough like orbs or whatever. Yeah, you kicked my dog. I'm gonna burn you to hell, dude. Although I don't have the. Uh... Actually, I think I've beaten this guy before without taking damage. Yeah. Although I had the, I think by this time I had the, the defense roll ability, so I could actually, I could do it now. Why not? Yeah, the game will let you level up, like, whenever you can, so you can just pause the game, like, for a brief second and do it, you know, so... What? Yeah, let's buy Dexter Styles, so that way I can actually roll Dexter. during combat, like, easily. Yep, see, now we can roll. I don't know why we couldn't do that before, but, hey! This guy's pretty easy, actually, so... I mean, it will eventually get harder, but, yeah, I just had to, to slow-mo death Fallen weight expression. Had to do that to do that, huh? Thanks to you, Thag's reign of terror is at an end. The roadblock to Bowerstone has been lifted. Well, that was easy. That was easy! How come the cops couldn't do that before? It's because they can't throw fireballs. Well done. Yeah, you're probably right. I will tell the guards of Thag's death. With a threat removed, the road to Bowerstone can reopen. Are you going to Obi-Wan brain, like, absorb them or whatever? Or brain, tell them? In a chest. Okay. Like in his chest, or oh, the dog's hurt. But we don't have a heal, though, do we? Oh, we do. Okay, that little like bandage thing on the bottom is a, is a, um, uh, uh, come on, game. Do I have to highlight him? Oh, there we go. Okay. Anyway. Oh wait, no, that's not it. That just means. Uh, okay. Wait, what actions would affect my Please, purity? get the key and let us out! I'm looking for treasure! I'm a hero, or I'm an adventurer first before I'm a hero. Aw, dog knows what's up. Yeah, yeah, I'll get your key and get your... Oh, whoop, hello. Property? Uh, oh, I mentioned in the last game about being able to buy... Pro yeah, you can buy Thag's Cabin at some point, so... Yeah, whenever, if I ever get enough money, I may do the whole buy every single property in the game and just have the money rolling in, you know. Actually, isn't it that picture? Oh, I guess. Okay. Thag's key that unlocks the uh, chest with the prisoners. A dull key found in a chest in Thag's cabin. Rancid beef jerky? Mm -mm. Nothing elevates you in the eyes of your peers like being seen gnawing on a cut of truly rank jerky. Money bag? I think it has the same description. Yeah. Yeah, doesn't that picture look familiar? Like, it looks like a character from the first game. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, we got the... Yeah, let's let those good people out. All right. Oops. Hello. Honey. Oi, lady. There we go. Do you call me a lady? Oh, Don't wait, even lady, think right. about letting them out. Those slaves belong to me. I paid for them. Really? Look, I don't want any trouble. Give the key to me, and I'll make it worth your while. No, don't listen to him. Shut up. But didn't he say he legally bought you? I mean, right? That's how it works, like, in the law of things. Like, if, you, if they're your slaves. I'm not going to tell you again. I mean, I should release those people, but you did say you had the rightful claim to that. So, what you know do you what they say, say uh, Possession is... Feel like getting a little richer today. Possession's nine-tenths of the law, right? So, here you go, good sir. You'll treat him kindly, right? Nice doing business with you. Hear that, you lot? You're mine now! You bastard! I always knew you were no good. I'll curse the name Sparrow the rest of my days. A few coins change hands, and a few honest folk are condemned to years of misery. 
Is your heart so hard? Perhaps you will destroy Lucian for the wrong reason, but I suppose it will have to do. Meet me in Bowerstone Market by the clock tower. There is something you must see. All right, I don't need enough of your lip, Obi-Wan cannoli. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, yep. So yeah, if you do, obviously, if you release them without doing that, you get a purity. Or for me, I got like or evil or corruption or whatever you want to call it for not a. Oh, you can't go back to. Oh, huh. anyway, <laughs> everyone will know that Hal is an evil son of a bitch. Hey, the guy paid me a hundred gold. I'm gonna need that hundred gold. You know, you don't know what it's like being a an adventure. I like how the dog during the scene where the people are gonna be sent to slavery, that the dog is just running around. I was like, yay, I'm happy. <laughs> I was hiding. I was hiding underneath the porch because I love you, <laughs> stuff like that. But okay. Anyway, let's run. There's no reason to walk in this game. If I walk, the game will be over. All right. Wait. Yeah, let's make our way back to the uh, section up here so we can get inside Beerstone now. Finally, finally, civilization. We have been living in a in a Romani camp for quite a few years. Uh, 120 miles. Apparently 27 hours on foot. Someone killed off that bandit leader, so it's safe now. I'd like to shake the hand of the bloke who did it. Or madam, or madam, come back here, you, you sexist son of a bitch. No, just kidding. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, she she forced pa forced Jedi told them what to do, or you know, inside their house. I'm surprised they didn't go crazy like ah crazy woman talking her head but yep that's our first uh, mission of the game and if you haven't <laughs> guessed already you already know what type of path we're going on here the only re the main reason i'm playing is as from as far as i'm aware of, most people who tend to play this game tend to play the good path so very few people show you how like what it's like to be the bad guy in these games i'm a bard see and that's the song i'm working on it's uh, well it's my first one i'm just starting out listen to this a hero went to Bower Lake and gave the thug a belly ache. <laughs> That's all I've got so far, but maybe if I walk round Bowerstone with you, I'll get some inspiration. You do need some inspiration. Some major inspiration. Well, oh, whatever. Are you going to follow me, dude? Oh, you can't actually tell him to leave you alone. Um, uh... It's just a tutorial thing where, yeah, if you look at the bomb, there's a hand there that says stop. Basically, it says don't follow me anymore. So if you don't, he's basically the descriptor of Bowerstone guy. He's like, here's what you got to do, or here's what you can do at Bowerstone as I follow you around. Ooh, a lovely lady. Yeah, we're going to read a lot of a lot of lovely people around here as we play around. But yeah, he's got to basically describe like the buildings and town and everything like that. But yeah, if you don't want to mess with that, you don't have to. You can just tell him to leave you alone. You can find all sorts here. It's Bowerstone's general store. The food is probably better than the muck they sell at the stalls. Less likely to give you the runs. Well, I'm not really a big fan of the runs, let me tell you. So yeah, that's... And Bowerstone's gonna be... And here we have the local coach house. Usually it runs a fast service to Oakfield, but there's been bandit trouble down that way lately, so it's closed for a while. I was going to write a song about it, but then I didn't. Probably wouldn't have been a very good song anyway. Um, oh yeah, there's other. Uh, there's also missions you can access by uh, by these uh, yellow exclamation points. Some of them, uh, some of the ones that are available now, are technically extra content or stuff I'm supposed to take care of after the end of the game. For the most part, I'll try to find a good spot to find out like the best time to actually play those. I might wait till the end of the campaign to play. We'll we'll see how they flow. This is the Bower Bridge. Nice and uh, bridgey. Oh, um, don't you think? Oh, well. <laughs> There's usually a few well, stalls set up if you fancy some shopping. Proudly on the bridge they call Bower, where a whiff of wet rat rose up rather sour. I'm going for a bit of an epic feel on that one. Welcome to our corner of the world. Oh, anyway, I was going to do hey, an expression on all the way to the uh... Yeah, for the most part, until I change my name later, I'm known as Sparrow, as the, the hero Sparrow. Put uh, put the, the heart of 
fear in the men when you call them sparrow. Yeah, there's fish, meat traders. I don't think any of them sell anything that's <coughs> that's uh worthwhile right now. What? What can I do I don't for think you, anyway. Dubious whitefish. <laughs> How can a fish be dubious? Anyone can fight Balverine. It's the truly adventurous scrimp on seafood. Yeah, everything's gonna have a little like dialogue box with them, like well, maybe usually humorous. So I'll try to show off a lot of it, but I don't know if I'll show off everything. But caught off the coast of Westcliff, where it bounds, where its bountiful presence should ensure it never goes extinct. Uh, what were you thinking with those trousers? Hey, these are awesome trousers. Thank you very much. Thank you very treasure. Dog told us there's treasure. Let's go grab it. I think there's like a couple of silver keys in this town too. Almost everything you can buy in Bowerstone gets here by boat. I try not to go near Eat. the wharf myself. Plenty of dodgy folk about, if you know what I mean. Dodgy folk might be my kind of people. I mean, I was raised an orphan, so what's this? Ooh, a treasure chest <laughs> that no one ever found. Only the dog and the hero could find. Uh, of course. Money. Yeah, not every treasure chest is gonna have everything you can ever want in life. You know? Okay. Anyway, I went down down there because the dog was barking. So I will ex eventually explore the houses because I think a couple, of the, like one of these houses, has a silver key. I know for sure, like in its basement, uh, amongst other things. And we're supposed to meet Teresa there at the center there. So actually, probably should do activate that now because I have to wait for her for a while. So. I have bad news. I'm afraid I will be delayed for a while. In the meantime, you should buy some new equipment and prepare for the challenges ahead. But you'll need money. If you need money, there are jobs to be found. I believe the blacksmith has an opening. Have yeah, that I one you can get some I easy money, and especially if you're good at it. It's quite a funny story, really. I saw this loot in a shop and I bought it. Amazing, isn't it? And here is the town square, the very heart of Bowerstone. This is where I ply my humble trade. Cozy, isn't it? Now, let me think. The hero arrived at the town square, home of a minstrel without compare. Well, I have been compared to the cry of wild hogs during mating season, if that counts. <laughs> that seems to, that seems uh, so, so nice in comparison. Yeah, we're basically just supposed to kind of hang around here. This is a way to like learn how to. Uh... Now here is a fellow with a fine set of lungs, the town crier. Doesn't just tell people when it's time to go to bed, you know. He sells titles too, so any time you fancy a change of name, pay him a visit. <clears throat> Let's see. The hero decided to gain a new title, one that would sound good in any recital. <laughs> For this she approached the trusty town crier, but all he had left was fat ugly liar. Well, is that true? Let's find out. Crier, I want to buy something from you. I like to buy a title. I am a rich, very, very rich woman. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. One of the one of the things for getting unlockable content. No, one of the one of the benefits of downloading the content is we can get called Master Chief. The spirit of Hal, the greatest warrior from another dimension. Another dimension? What are we playing, Drammel? Is alive from within you. And yeah, we can be called Master Chief for the rest of the game if I want to. Could spend that money we got from, uh, some of the money we got from that one guy for selling the people off. Let's see, we could call ourselves, are we called Sparrow? You, you're either nostalgic for your youth or you are a bird. Which is it, viewers? Blade? Oh, a reference from the previous, well, maybe, I don't know. Blade, you are one with your sword. Conjurer, you are not a mere dabbler in the magic arts. You are the supreme master of will. No, op knobhead. Oh yeah, there's no reason to look at the little picture because all it is a piece of paper. Knobhead, you go out of your way to annoy others. Perhaps you have self-confidence problems, or perhaps you're just an idiot. Hmm. I've been called worse, I guess. This tile is free once you make enough people hate you. Ooh, I consider that maybe. Chicken chaser. Yeah, you got this for just a. Uh... I think this was like one of the first tiles you got in the previous game was chicken chaser. Or you could buy or something like that, but same. 
Anyway, you were severely traumatized by poultry as a child. Now despise all chickens. This tile is free when you've kicked a certain number of chickens. I'll try to do that later, too. Fearmonger. You strike terror in the hearts of all. Your mere presence is enough to frighten most people. This tile is free once you have enough villagers are afraid of you. Salad Dodger. Pies, meat, chocolates, small buildings. There's nothing you won't eat as long as it's not healthy. Salad is free once you're fat enough. You know, I've never actually gotten the main character ever overweight in either game before. Either one, two, or three. I consider it just to show it off. Dumpling. Your mere presence inspires the love of those around you. You're just that lovable. You get for free when you enough people love you. Joker. <laughs> Why so serious? You bring laughter into people's lives, sometimes on purpose. When you make enough people laugh, it's free. Dog lover. Your dog is your best friend. You just don't, don't just treat him well. You care about his education, too. When we give him enough tricks, it becomes free. Butcher. You're Albion's most infamous serial killer. Your disregard for life is chilling. This tile is free when you've murdered a high number of innocent villagers. <laughs> I can see why it's like like 1912 to buy it. Executioner. You're Albion's most dreaded assassin. Bring your death to anybody for the right price. This tile is free once you complete enough assassination quests. Lionheart. Your dauntless, courageous nature takes you places no others would dare to go. This is uh, free when you go to Crucible Champion. Oh, way to spoiler the game, dude. I shouldn't have read that. You were in it? Actually, no, I think the Crucible is a side quest. I don't think you, you're required to do that. You're a mercenary, able to track down and kill any undesirables for the right price. This title is free when you complete enough bounty quests. 100 quests. Desperado. Desperado! I don't even remember how that song goes. Crime isn't just a hobby for you. It's a way of life. This title is free once you've committed enough crimes. Chosen one. Your luminescent wisdom and benevolence makes like you a shining opinion, beacon for all that's good. No this tile is free when you purchase when that. you purchase the Temple of Light. Oh yeah, I forgot you could buy the temples in this game. You're one of the most benevolent beings in Albion. This tile is free when you own the Temple of Shadows. Um, I always wish I had read those because that is a little uh um a little uh spoilery, but yeah. Alright, anyway, let's play Master Chief. I'll be now I known as Master Chief. You great happiness. <laughs> yes it will. From this day forth, this citizen shall be known to all as Master Chief. Oh, they even added new dialogue just for Master Chief. I guess it was designed at the beginning when they first released the game that they were going to release that specific content. But yeah, let's show off the... Uh... Ah, yes. The noble blacksmith. The friend of any good adventurer. You can buy weapons here. Finest bower stone steel. Oh, this should be good. <laughs> the hero visited the trusted blacksmith for a sword that would become pure myth. And uh, uh, the bard that was standing at the side decided to be quiet forthwith. Yeah, you know your place. Anyway, let's uh, let's just show it off. Basically, it's a... Uh, basically, yeah, you just have to press the button inside the... Uh, if you're good, you can actually get it pretty quickly, like on the first go. It just depends on where it is. And you have to get it inside the thing. And if you do it enough, you put the sword inside there. And, and if you can get multiple ones back to back, it has a um, uh, multiplier that will occur. Like that. So the more you can do it back to back... You get more gold. And it can pile up, but this obviously isn't the most effective way to earn money, but it's a nice little way to earn it at the very beginning of the game when you're trying to earn money for some, like, extra armor it's or something like that. Up nicely. I, I'm just playing it once just to show it. Technically, I could stop right, right now, but yeah, let's see how how far I can go before I... Uh, I'll do a couple more. I don't want to have the whole episode of me just doing a mini game that's like, you know. Uh, but I do want to earn, like, a little extra gold. Although, it's, at some point, gold becomes kind of... That's a fine blade. I wouldn't say easy, per se, but... Um, uh, there are other more efficient ways to earn money, let's just say that. But uh, oh, I like the fact that it's, this is in here in the first place, just to say, hey... Uh, oh, yeah. You've been promoted! As long as the economy stays as it is, I guess we can call that a, after I get this one, I'll, I'll call it the... Call it a mission or whatever. Okay. Uh, we'll quit there. All right, we're in a little extra dough. You are now a second level blacksmith. Hooray! So, I forgot what my mm, what what my yes. score was. Like the far, uh, apparently people love me for being a good blacksmith. Oh, we'll have to uh, really we'll have to change our minds about that later. But yeah, like I, I think we every single everywhere. like Not that any of them were as I think every single shop and place in the game can be bought. 
Yes, it can be bought. Here's where they sell furniture. Of course, it isn't much use unless you have a house to put it in. Um, I've been advised against singing about furniture. Uh, do you, so on, did you spend. insult someone's chair once? This way. I don't think Roland. I I don't think you can go into. Well, you can go in the deeper parts. But I don't think Roland has much to say outside of like. Outside of certain points. I have returned. Meet Whoa. me by the clock tower in the main square. Uh, you're a freaky lady, dude. Don't go popping up like a goddamn jack in the box. I'm trying to remember all the places like Roland will actually. Because at some point he will eventually leave us alone. Okay, nothing. Not, I'm waiting for him to just say stuff to me if, if he has anything to say. He might not. I think after we meet Teresa, he leaves. He leave, oh, wait, did he just leave? Not bad. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> he left for the day. Okay, Looking never mind good. then. I think it's when, uh, I think it's when Teresa calls you, he, he buggers off. So, all right, well, let's meet Teresa and see what she wants us to do. And I think we'll call it, call it there. Hopefully next episode will be a bit more action packed. Well, actually, we did sell some people to sleep. Well, <laughs> anyway, hey, la crazy lady, blind lady. I apologize for the delay. Events are moving quickly indeed. Think about your life. All the places you've been, the people you've known, everything you've done. How many moments, how many memories. Thag and his men, they had just as many. And now they have none because of you. Do you feel the weight of responsibility yet? Uh, no. You will get used to the burden, as all heroes must. Come. The world is better off without Thag, and certainly Bower Lake is in your debt. But to really see the impact of your actions, you need look no further than Bowerstone. It has changed much since you lived here, particularly Old Town, where you spent your childhood. Never forget that even the simplest choice can have far-reaching consequences. Yeah, don't try to make me feel bad about killing some bandits, lady. They deserved it. Because they were they were a stepping stone in my gro gro growth to power. Look. Mm -hmm. That is where Lucian is now. The tattered spire. The spire was intended as a conduit for all the magic in the world, granting the kingdom's ruler a power so great he could bend reality to his will. On the day it was completed, and the first wish made, a light bloomed inside, though its nature could not have been darker. Albion shattered. Centuries of civilization were wiped out in moments. Its people erased from existence. Some say that this was the first wish, an end to a hollow and corrupt world, and for a purer one to take its place. And now the spire rises once again by Lucian's hand. Lucian found documents which foretold the coming of one who would stop him using the spire. That is why your sister died. And that is why you will face him. The cards have shown me this. Here. Take a look. I think that would have looked a lot better if, if it wasn't nighttime or it hadn't rendered properly. Because it you couldn't even see it properly. Uh, well, games haven't changed much when you really think about it. Fake cards. Ooh. These cards offer glimpses of what your future holds. Ooh, thanks. I'll throw them in the ditch. Each of the three heroes you see in the cards is a step on the hidden path to Lucian's downfall. And the life force of heroes, will itself, is the key to the Spire's power. Lucian's agents scour the land even as we speak. You must find the three heroes before Lucian does, because you are the fourth, the one who will bring his downfall. I have seen a vision of a holy ritual in Oakfield. Salvation, though bittersweet, is delivered by one of incredible strength. 
Speak to the abbot at the Temple of Light and see what you can learn of this pilgrim. The road to Oakfield well, will be like... dangerous. Good luck. Examine the fake cards you've been given. You'll find them in the book and documents section of your favorite inventory. Okay. Uh, let's see. Books and documents. Ooh, the mage. Use the cards to listen to what Teresa has to say about it. The mage represents our struggle with knowledge and the power it can bring. The desire for knowledge can be all-consuming as it can be destructive, and attaining such power is fraught with difficulties. Knowledge can be both liberating and enslaving. It casts light, but it brings shadow. It endows strength, but always comes at a high price. In centuries past, this card will uh, was most often associated with the will users from the Heroes Guild. Oh, I forgot the... If I remember the first game, I would have mentioned all the will years because there was the one guy who saved you at the very beginning, you know, of the game. But, uh, anyway. Whoop. Uh, I'll read the rest of the cards later because, well, I mean, I'm, I'm almost out of time. So, yeah, well, it's like uh, Teresa set us on the path to Hero Dome. We've got the power. Now we've got the, the purpose to defeat Lucian. We've got to find the three heroes. Where will we go, f uh, go to first? Will we find that... The, the Temple of Light? Or will we dick around town for a while just to see what's hidden in people's houses and climb into the places? Find out next time in the next episode of Fable 2. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.